This is a wheat weevil. Actually, this is a 3D model of a wheat weevil. This is a wheat weevil. And this is Chong Nguyen, the CSR researcher who worked out how to get this 3mm insect from the real world into the digital world. Here we have a camera sitting on a macro rail and we have a turntable which can tilt and then we put the specimen in the middle right at the center of rotation. And we have laser um, alignment here to make sure that the specimen here um, sits at the center of rotation. Now the camera is moving and capture images at different distances from the specimen here. The camera capture images at the different depth of focus and then the images are combined into a single image in focus. For a good uh, result, we, the system will take around 4,500 images and then combine into 144 images before a uh, 3D model can be reconstructed. about three hours to finish capturing 4,500 images. Once we got the images, we combine the images that capture from the same angle into a single in-focus image. Then we have a set of in-focus images captured at different angles. And these images become the input into a 3D reconstruction software to generate a 3D model. Over the next two or three decades, the world's going to be facing a series of really important challenges. We're going to have to grow twice the amount of food on the same amount of land. We're going to be facing having to deal with managing natural and agricultural ecosystems under environmental change. We're going to deal with emerging diseases and an increasing number of invasive species and all of these are going to require biological knowledge. So what we need to do is accelerate the way we are populating the biodiversity knowledge bank. We have to use technology if we're going to be able to understand nature fast enough that we can do something about the impacts that humans are having on the world. Once we got the model, we can export the 3D model to PDF for documents, to HTML for web pages, and to STL for 3D printing. So imagine this scenario, you're a quarantine officer out in the field, you've just found something, you're not sure what it looks like. This gives you a means to interrogate known species or unwanted pests so that you can make a more confident identification faster. And now the specimen is, is in digital domain, so we can share it easily throughout the world. The biological collections, national collections, represent an 80-year investment in big data. We now need to unlock that data and make it available to people. Thank you.